What's up everybody, Steven Zekiel here for another reaction. Now today's reaction is another reaction to another Has Been Hold Tale song. Which after my reaction to uh, Attic, the one they just dropped on the channel where it involved um, Angel Dust and Cherry Bomb, which I was correct. And thank you guys everyone who's been commenting on that video and everything. You guys also have been requesting me to check out a song that involves Alistair. Um, the Fox Demon dealer dude from Has Been Hotel. It's been a while since I've watched it, but I do remember him. He's the radio demon and a bunch of other things. Uh, he fucked up that snake dude uh, <laughs> at the end of the episode and everything. He has that creepy vibe. He's really cool looking, and I know for a fact he is a fan favorite when it comes to the series Has Been Hotel. A lot of people like him. Um, and in general, this is a song... Uh, I've been getting a couple requests on that reaction um, that I should look into the Living Tombstone Alice Stores game. Has been Hotel song. So that's what we're checking out right now. This actually has lots of views on it. it is, the song itself has over 4 million views, which uh, in a, in, in, as a YouTube video is uh, fucking good. That's fucking good. Alright, let's get into this video. Like I always like to do, guys, uh, go show your support. Wait, oh, whoops, wrong one. Sorry. Go show your support the original uh, original video and everything. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. Do all that good stuff. I like to show my support by doing that for any video, any channel that I watch. Uh, and I usually just like to. If you guys want to support them any other way, uh, looks like you can download the song. And it was link down below for the original video we're about to watch. If you guys haven't seen this yourself, you guys want to go check it out and support them. Definitely do so. Um, and let's get into this and see what this has uh, backstory wise. So, let's get into it. <clears throat> I like how they're going classic, uh, classic cartoon style vibes already. Now if I mispronounce the name, I apologize. I got a game I wanna show Ooh. you. If I tell you my name, you'll have to play too. I've been here for years fighting my time, waiting in prime. Okay. I'll be here for you until your world ends. With all your toys, I will supply. You only live once, and you'll be mine the day you die. I'll have my payment. Your return. Yeah, that's right. Don't make a deal with this motherfucker. <laughs> you gotta be careful. I like the beat that's coming with. Whoa! I am the nightmare on the dark side of the moon. I'm your first last resource, so call me when you need a helping hand. Play your cards wrong and I'll see. Ah! No, there's a commercial! That that, that took away from the epicness. Quick, I'm gonna quick I'm I'm gonna cut this. I'm sorry guys. Alright, sorry about that commercial. One, I don't mind them popping up because they get paid for my the ad popping up, and I'm always supporting the creator to get paid. But god damn it! I I, I also rewind it back to the start. I was just not expecting that change. That literally went that went one eight like that fucking flipped on a dime. I was not expecting that. Holy shit. I like this! Oh. I'm your first last resource, so call me when you need a helping hand. Play your cards wrong and I'll see you soon. Sorry. Oh, okay. I don't mean to alarm you. If you asked me to stay, I would be charmed to. You all have such cozy little lives. How do you survive? I gotta wish I knew. But you've got a lovely little secret. You're tired of feeling awful small. So you give 
Okay, so he still has the demon little demon voice come out here and there even in this part. I'm, okay, I like this. I, it has a little like classical like I don't know what the like the genre sound it is, but it's like classic cartoony, not like radio esque. And then when he goes demon esque, it's demon devil metal. <laughs> I like it. I don't think he'll be a sweet de uh, radio demon. No, 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 no. <laughs> Cause if you cross them, you're fucked. There's a lot to this song, and we'll talk about it more, but I'm gonna, oh my god, this is cool. God damn! Oh god. When I play I don't lose. Collect on the depths that you accrued. It was such a gas. I really am on muse. Have a dark thought, I'm right beside you. A casual whisper just to guide you. Look over your shoulder and I'm gone. Remember this song. And I bid you adieu. Wow. Okay. Okay. It feels like he he gives out these deals for people he knows that are in a shit binding that they truly and he knows for a fact that they can't get out of and when he's when they're desperate they'll always come back towards him and if he and if they break the deal he will break them in many different ways living or in hell that's kind of fucking dark holy shit like, just that moment, let's go to the last, like, I, we already, like, talked a little bit at the beginning. It was around the second portion that, uh, we'll go back to. Like, that right there. Like, once they make the deal, they're cursed forever. Live or dead, he will always own you, in a sense. Damn, right there. Play your cards wrong and I'll see you soon means if you do something I'm not going to like and you know it, you're going to pay with every bit of pain. Fuck. Like that right there, that, <laughs> there's no winning. If you make a deal with him, no matter what the outcome is, you lose, no matter what. The only way for you to stay and maybe have a win in life and, and, and or in death is to never make a deal with him. Even if, even if you're losing in life or in death, 
and in general you're you're just you're that desperate you're desperate he's going to take advantage of that and once you make that deal eventually you're going to fuck up and he's going to have the last laugh Pleasure to play how I enjoy you. God damn. He's twisted, but that's why people like him. And that's another thing. He's always looking for a way to entertain himself. He's he's not in it for the money. He's not in it for helping others. He's in it for himself, for his own amusement. I remember the quote that he had uh, in the Hasman Hotel. God, I'm, oh, I kind of remember it. It was... Um, the world is a stage in this uh, wait no it was something about a world in this stage of entertainment or the and oh wait no a stage is uh, entertainment comes from a stage and the world is a world i can't remember exactly but i remember that's what he said to charlie in the has been it's been months since i've seen the uh, episode but that did that just popped in my head do you want to kind of go back and rewatch has been hotel but it's uh it's been a while like I'll definitely have to do that again. Um, maybe if there's ever an announcement for like the next episode, like the next official episode, what I might do is I might go back and rewatch it right before the new episode drops. If there's if there is ever an announcement whenever the new episode drops, just so I can keep myself up to date on what's the fuck's going on. Because even right now, I, I remember bits and pieces of it because one, I enjoyed the episode and I had a fun time watching it, but I, I lost track of stuff. I'm right beside you, a casual whisper just to guide you, look over your shoulder and I'm gone, remember this song, and I bid you adieu. Yeah, that, that honestly fits him as a character very well. Uh, the song in general is really good. Uh, I was just not expecting, like, that the, the, the rock heavy metal like verse where he goes all psychotic demon motherfucking I'm gonna rip your fucking soul out <laughs> kind of want that exactly yeah you know what I mean. you know what I mean. all right so yeah i don't know how many other songs uh, there are out there of uh has been hotel i know this one was a custom made song um and i think it works with the character it fits very well i doubt that this one will ever get animated so that's why uh like the other one you guys were telling me that one was actually like made a couple months prior before the animation was released i'm kind of glad i didn't watch anything beforehand because this was, that was the first time, and it gave me a lot that I was just not expecting. And I'm wondering if I listened to the song beforehand, I would have expected the dark side and the holy fuckness of the story with Angel Dust's backstory and stuff. This is also pretty interesting, and I, I do kind of wonder. Um, I know they're just silhouettes. I'm going to go back quick, quickly, just the silhouettes right here. The, the man and the woman, I wonder if, because they don't look like any characters we've seen in Hasbun Hotel. They're probably just generic silhouettes, but I wonder if this is also an Easter egg of characters that he possibly killed in real world. Because, but he at the same time, he is just looking like his self from hell. And they kind of did show us a little bit that humans look like humans when they're still alive, but in hell they take different forms. Because of hell of a boss. I could be wrong there. I don't know. These could just be some generic souls that did make a deal with him while he was alive. And he's still after them to uh, claim what is rightfully his. No matter what. That's why his statement of him coming after you no matter what. He will collect what is his and what is due. Kind of sense. Either way, this was still a cool little... Um, Backstories, uh, song, whatnot. I don't know how like detailed it gets. If there was anything I missed, let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, let me know as well. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, join my Discord when it's available. I think right now it's the link right now will not work, so just a heads up, guys. Um, if it does work, that means I got it fixed and I updated it. But if it doesn't, look out in the future when I do let people know you can come in and join. We're having some issues with our Discord, so. Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching. Like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later! This is the Prince of the Motherfucking Saiyans, and I am ordering you to subscribe to Steven Z. Killer!